up, everybody? Michael Richards here with Elite Athletic Performance. Uh, I wanted to shoot a video about gap year athletes because of this whole COVID-19 thing. Um, there's just a lot of uncertainty up in the air. We had a lot of guys. I know there are a lot of guys around the state and the country and that were depending on their senior year to get their um, – to figure out where they were going to play next fall, and that has kind of been ripped away from them. So – I'm not necessarily saying this is a great idea for everybody, but I, I think there's a lot of people that don't realize that this option is available. So I wanted to talk about it. This is just a starting point. This is not like the, uh, the, the God, don't take this as the gospel. If this is something that you feel like might be a good fit for you or your athlete, talk with me, talk with uh, any coaches that you've had contact with, and you can kind of decide from there. Uh, but basically, just so you are aware of what it is, a gap year um, is an athlete that basically takes a year off from school they take a gap in between their high school career and their uh, college career, and they focus on training. And, and there are, if, if you are locally watching this, we, w we have more and more game-like situations and opportunities popping up to where, you know, the biggest concern in the past would be game reps, you know, which uh, whether or not that would be a huge deal or not is still kind of some people uh, vary on how important that would actually be. But... Uh, you know, we can we can mimic and we can simulate a lot of game scenarios now with the facilities we have and the uh, p the baseball field that we'll be building soon and our our teams that we'll have in the summer. So we can really we can we can do a lot of good get a lot of good work without that being a concern. So um, <clears throat> as far as whether or not it's a good fit for you or your athlete. Uh, you need to ask yourself a few questions, just kind of do a little bit of self-evaluation. What are your goals? Like what schools were you trying to go to? Uh, were you realistic with that? Uh, have you spoke with them? Do you have offers from them? Um, you know, that, that's the, one of the first places to start with that. And, you know, if you haven't reached the goal that you had and you're still set on trying to attain that goal, then a gap year might be something that would be something that would be good for you to do. Uh, because what that does is give you another chance or gives you another year to develop uh, where, you know, we can really focus and hone in. The, the next question that I would want to know if you are considering a gap year is your level of dedication because this is not one of those things where it's, you know, I go for an hour three times a week. Like if you are going to take off, like I feel like this is probably the case at most houses, if when you graduate high school, you either go to school or you work, one or the other. There's no sitting around. And so this is going to end up being one of those things where you're up here probably three or four hours a day for three or at least four days a week, probably more. And so <clears throat> you're going to get very, very used to me. I've had a few gap year people in the past. It's gone really well. We have one right now, actually. And uh, he's been training with us all uh, spring. It's just kind of ironic that. Uh, he took a gap year, uh, decided to, after his fall semester at, the, the, at his respective school, he decided that it would be a better fit for him to come home and train for this spring and, and miss this spring season. And it's just kind of ironic that he actually didn't miss anything because of the COVID-19 stuff. So anyways, that would be one of the things that I would want to know if you are one of those type of people that don't really finish stuff, then this is a really bad idea for you. So uh, just know that. The next question, I mean, or, or, you know, factor that rolls into this is how, how is this COVID-19 stuff affecting you? Um, and that kind of goes back to where your offers are. Like if, if you were depending on your senior year to get your offers and this senior summer, you know, we don't even know what our summer is going to look like, as, unfortunately. And so, uh, you know, we have a lot of good, you know, there are a lot of good opportunities to get offers and things like that through summer ball with the local travel organizations and showcase organizations like ours and a couple others uh, locally. But, you know, if, if this whole thing is going to screw with our summer season, like we don't, there's just a lot of stuff up in the air. <clears throat> so if, especially if that summer gets messed with, a gap year is really, you know, maybe something that you want to look at as well. On top of the fact that now we've learned that, you know, in a lot of schools, the, the freshmen, you know, the, the, the people that were on campus this year are getting that year back so you freshmen are going to go in and it's going to be a massive class you know and, and it's just there's nothing you can really do about it i mean it just go up there and compete and take somebody's job and that's 
uh, you know, that's the way it is. It's life. But I mean, still, there is, you know, you could potentially take a year, especially if you have more development to do than, you know, or maybe you're undersized or something like that. And there's a, a, a definitely a, uh, a weak spot in your game that we could focus in on. You know, this, th it may be a, a, a situation that you want to do. The other uh, thing that I would look at is your financial situation. That's, that's going to be one of the things that might lend you to not doing a gap year. Uh, you know, ask your parents, talk to your parents. If you, and, and, you know, some parents, it's totally cool. Some, people, some parents are ready for you to get on somebody else's meal plan, you know. So uh, it's not like if you are local and you're training around here, I would not recommend a gap year athlete training remotely unless it's just a really unique situation. That's just, there's just a lot goes into being a, a gap year athlete. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, you know, we, we haven't before had anybody move here to train with us, but uh, we've, we've talked with it, about it with a few guys before. And, and I feel like that may be on the horizon for a couple of guys coming up with all of this uncertainty. So, uh, but uh, locally, as far as that would, that would, if you were to, uh, <clears throat> take a gap year, that would probably mean you would end up living with your parents for another year, you know, and that's something that I can't answer. If you're an athlete watching this video, like that would be an, a discussion you'd need to have with your parents as to whether or not, you know, they're okay with you being here for another year. Most parents are, some may not be, you know, so, and the other thing is age. If you are by chance one of the younger kids that uh, has, all, if you've always been that younger kid in your class, and you're kind of undersized and all that, you know, gap year is a, it's a decent op, uh, possibility for you as well because it gives you another year basically to get to that age group that you would have been had you been held back and been with the older kids in your class. So, um, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's not a perfect situation, but this is one of those things that I don't know that in, in all the hecticness out there that some people may not have even thought about it. So I wanted to bring it up just in case it was something that might be an option for you guys. The other things to consider, and, and if you are serious about this, I would highly suggest, you know, once you figure out a school or something, you know, get a list of schools that you're interested in, which you probably should have done already if you're an athlete um, watching this. You know, if you're a parent, then, you know, get on them to do that. You know, have a list of schools and uh, get with those schools and find out what the gap year uh, eligibility issues are they're a little bit different at every school so uh, but generally speaking <clears throat> your division one schools division twos and NAIs you've got one year so you can't take off like three years and then go you know go up there and try to be eligible to play sports now uh, I do remember some of you may remember like back it wasn't that long ago there was like a 36 year old receiver or something like that was uh, playing for the South Carolina Gamecocks he had been in the military so he received some type of hardship through NCAA, but he had eligibility left, and he was good, and dude was playing, you know, so that's just an interesting side story, though. I don't really think that's the norm, but uh, with Division three and JUCO route, like, it's a lot less restricted, so, um, you know, there there are possibilities there for guys to go and uh, take more than a year off, and, and so, you know, that's probably not the best idea, but some kids think going out of high school that they're just done with ball, and then after a year they're like, okay, never mind. I, I'm, you know, and so there is possibilities out there for you to do that, uh, for you to get back in as well, with uh, even if you have been out for a little while. So, anyways, that, that wouldn't be if you're if you're a high school senior watching this right now. Obviously, that wouldn't really be a concern because we are talking about the one year period here. But you know, for uh, future references, there is uh, you do have a larger window there for, with your D3 schools and your JUCOs. So, uh, if you have any questions, this is I can at least point you in the right direction. I have no problem admitting when I don't know something, but I can at least get you started in the right direction. If you have any questions about this, I'd be happy to help. Um, just shoot me an email or uh, in the comments, DMs on social medias whatever, uh, however you want to, to get a hold of me, and uh, I will do the very best I can to help you. So, appreciate it, and thank you for watching.